Hello, welcome to Endy's Extra, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna be, well, I guess reacting to, um, reacting, quote-unquote, to songs that have been posted by other people in VHS. So, yeah, let's get right into it. Hey, 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 hey. I feel like that's very true. Uh, that bar that he just said about underground, the underground. I feel like that's very, very true because, well, if you've ever heard anything from underground mainly, if you're not, it used to be if you're lyrical, you're cool. Like, if you're trap, you could probably be more successful. But, like, if you're lyrical, you could still make it. And now I feel like if you're lyrical, you can't really anymore, which sucks. Because, you know, I feel like it should be everyone rather than no one. Well, everyone rather than certain groups, but whatever. Single fuck about aspiring artists. All that hard work shoved. Yo, you're tiring marshes. That's why I feel bad for MC Wicks jockeying. Day after day, huh? They must be sipping Don P. Looking calm like Gandhi. I'll drop it Bob like Saudi. Away beyond social media. I don't think you fucking realize you're fucking over people's lives. A false prophet playing God. Here's another thing in mind. You ain't turned my shit into a racial issue. That type of bullshit can give you a facial tissue. Black, white, Asian, a fucking purple. Pesco, we're all fucking corny. That's the only good vegetable. If I'm corny, at least I'm putting work in the fields. All you do is jack off and lurk in our heels. So, what the fuck do you know about being spat on? Overshadowed by your cop that you take a dab on. Spend it by weekly checks on a lease for beats. Nothing, so stop fraying. Cassie's hands cheek to cheek. You'd probably like me if I talk about popping pills and knobs, fucking bitches, drinking weed, and copy. Okay, so. I didn't have anything to say, but I just realized that I kind of do like this um, cover art. If the only thing, I, the, oh, one of the only things I'm going to criticize here is the title is hard to read, but other than that, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, and also your shirt reminds straight out of Compton. It's totally not related, but it reminds me of a terrible movie called Snake Out of Compton. The million, huh? I got some people who love me, they're stronger than you hate. So you and your fan base can fucking get raped in the ass, dick, or quit. I don't give a shit. Long as you suffer like I suffered. This a toaster die, fuckers. You retards fucking hate me. Yeah, cause you hate me. You're only interested in rappers who overdose like Amy. So I'm sorry that hey, I don't have a fucking hey, pleasant hey, voice. Sorry, hey, I don't have a hey, studio, I don't hey, really have a hey, choice. Sorry, hey, I ain't as good as those bitch rappers hey, in your set. Hey, but I'm not hey, fucking sorry for fighting your disrespect. You hear me, motherfucker? I said I'm not fucking sorry for fighting your disrespect. <clears throat> I said I'm not fucking sorry for fighting your disrespect, yo. Like seriously, how the fuck are you gonna present yourself? Fuck y'all. 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 Fuck ya. Fuck ya. Fuck ya. I'm like you fucking sissies. Oh. And by the off chance one of you dudes listens to this, I'd like my ten fucking dollars back. Fuck the magic word. If I'm spending hard earned money on a shitty stream, at least make it worthwhile. That means no disrespecting me. It's fine if you don't like my music, but if you're just gonna call me trash without much criticism, <laughs> and especially to tell me stop rapping, I'll cut out your fucking neck. Token and F, all those suckers on beyond them. So don't you ever compare me to those dumb fucks again, you hear me, bitch? You're destroying the culture by doing that, you fucking prick. Oh, and one last thing. I'm not hungry for McDonald's. I prefer Wendy's every fucking day of the week. 
Hey, that's my boy. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, oh shit. I enjoyed that one pretty, well, I enjoyed that one. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I've, out of all the VHS group, I've only heard diss tracks from, well, excluding myself. I've heard diss tracks from two of the other members, the other one being Jigoku, Jig, Jigoku, I think is how you say his name. Regardless, him and now Aaron J, or as I'm going to call him, AJ, um, I've heard stuff from Jigoku and AJ. I have not heard one from Hayden, which I guess is a good thing he hasn't had to diss someone. And I think the only criticism I have for this track is try not to make the speaking portion so long because there's like a full, like, I think nearly minute of him just speaking on this diss track. So if I had anything to say, it's that you'd, if you have more stuff to say that isn't, that can be described lyrically, then go for it. If you have to make the track longer, do it like it's better to have a like have a diss just constantly punching you know rather than having a lot of talking at the end that's just my opinion you don't have to take that to heart anyways next up is hayden ray that time of year I've I think I've heard this before like once or twice. What's a stone if it can't be thrown? What's a throne if it can't be dethroned? What's a student if they can't be taught? What's a cop if the perpetrator isn't caught? Why they go and why not me? It's that Johnny. Can I get through what I have without pain? Been battling addiction, men and women with strain. Restrain myself, retain myself, relax when you complain. Cause I'm activated, don't use my name in vain. Just for go, G is I'm godlike, or like oatmeal. A is in at me on Insta if you bad DM for real. G is in top of the mountain, <laughs> snow is real. I plan to not take girls unless it's legend, that's a deal. On the hard piano, watch your lines for y'all to dance behind. When I'm on a drive, my lane is mine and hoes, right? There's only taste in my talent. See that waist in your ear? Must be the last song, cause this way shit I'm first hit. Pull the ropes behind the curtains, this is my show. Nobody else can be this big, control my tight ropes. Through the pain together, make VHS an effort. Hayden's first name raised quick glimpse. I excel than never. What's a stone if it can't be thrown? What's a throne if it can't be dethroned? What's a student if they can't be taught? That's the hook. What's a cop if the perpetrator isn't caught? Why they go? And why not me? That's why you oh, yeah. me. This goes out to my central side. <laughs> That's right. Where big bro and my mama reside. <laughs> and that's right. And a shout out to those who <laughs> Y'all thought I was gonna keep going. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna let the beat ride. That was pretty good. Um, one of the only criticisms I have is the hook was weird. Like that's not like weird in a sense that I hated it, but weird in a sense that I just didn't understand it. I guess like didn't understand why it was the way it was. 
I think the hook on that track could have definitely been improved is what I'm trying to say because it sounds like he was speaking and then it sounded like the hook was, at the beginning it sounded like he was speaking and then the hook was going to start and then it just but that was the hook weird but I didn't hate it um so I'm going to tell you fun facts without actually reacting no name was supposed to go on to an entirely different um uh was supposed to go on to the Back to Basics Deluxe, which was something that I, like, something I was going to call it, like, the Return return to Basics, and it was going to have, it was going to have a couple more tracks and a couple more styles, but I decided against that, like, a couple more tracks and a couple more styles. Fighting Back was supposed to be on that, too. Maggot... I don't know, Fighting Back was supposed to be on there too, and Fighting Back was supposed to be, um, let's see, Fighting Back was supposed to be a, a track that had a feature, but that feature just never came through, so I uploaded it as is, and I think it came out pretty good, and then Maggot, is well a track that was supposed to be on back to basics deluxe yet again as you can tell back to basics i think i have like maybe one more track that was supposed to go on here with aj with aj aaron aaron j on it um along with the i'm not sure if it's released yet I'm pretty sure it's done, but um, there's the original old school type um, rap song, which was on Back to Basics. I don't remember what it was called, but there was going to be a remix of that. I'm pretty sure that's finished. And then a completely new original one. Um, yeah. And the fun fact for Blow Up is that it was originally supposed to be a solo song, but I could not come up with enough. My brain could not come up with enough for that song in the style that I was doing to finish out the whole song. So I got the feature. And fun fact, this is the first feature I've ever paid for. And this one, um, actually, I was originally never was originally never going to be a part of it up until the feature was like, hey, I have this song and it's until the feature I was in contact with that I got for the other song was like, hey, I have this, and it's not gonna, well, get anything, really. Blah, 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 blah. Let me try and rephrase that one. So basically, he went, I have this song, and it was originally supposed to go out to someone, but they never took it. So do you want it? It's the same price as you paid for the feature. And I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So, yeah. That's where that came from. And I don't know if I remember Fly With Me. Fly With Me. I think Fly With Me, Fall Down, Feeling. So, I have an entire playlist on my iPad. Where I make my beats. Um... An entire playlist on, well, yeah, my iPad where I make my songs that is, that contains more songs. One that I uploaded but ended up deleting. And let's see, so there's one that I uploaded but ended up deleting afterwards. One that I haven't uploaded. Let's see, one that I uploaded ended up deleting. And three that I ended up not uploading, but these tracks were, these cover arts were made very quickly and easily. Uh, these cover arts, the cover arts for the next three and the ones that didn't get uploaded were made very quickly and easily and were originally supposed to be a part of an entirely different album where I was supposed to show a planned album where I was supposed to show my progress as an artist like in 
a pro my progress, just like how I was doing, where I came from, like where I started, where I came from, and like it was supposed to be like a track, an album where I showed my progression. And this song, I think I still have the plan layout. I think I still have the layout doc somewhere. So if I were to like pause this recording, then um, if I were to pause this recording um, uh, and go look for that, I, I'm pretty sure I could find it. But there's this entire layout doc where I have... No, so I got a piece of information wrong. So the song that I, the second song from the Bad Motherfucker EP was supposed to be on that album. I got that information wrong. But this album was in production for a long time and I had a bunch of songs planned for it and I'm pretty sure I still have the plan document and it was supposed to be this entire melodic album and I'm pretty sure I got pretty much everything like a lot of shit done for it. But I never ended up uploading it because I was dissatisfied with it. So that is one of my f very few scrapped projects. And I really, but there are some songs on from that project that I really enjoyed. Like Fly With Me, Fall Down, Feeling, these ones that I'm about to list off. Um, Don't Want Beef, Find You, Paradise, and Heartbroken. All these songs... Well, four of them are unreleased. All these songs were something that I were were something that I was genuinely happy with at some point and um were supposed to be part of this entire album and I just never ended up putting it out because I well didn't really see reason for it. Hold on. Okay, so hi, I found it. And so there was Paradise. I even had the entire layout, the credits for all, all of them. So there was Paradise, Fall Down, Stress In, Take Me, which I know I finished and might have uploaded, but I don't know where that is. If it's not uploaded, then I don't know where that is. Feeling, Heartbroken, Sorrows, which was one of the few unfinished um, sorrows, which is one of the f very few unfinished songs from that album. Talk Back, which was finished. Don't Know, which I actually plan on releasing because I'm really happy with the way Don't Know came out. Find You, Don't Want Beef, Fighting Back, and then finally Fly With Me. This is what it was, so as you can tell, I got pretty much everything done, except for Sorrows, and, but other than that, I'm pretty sure this entire album was completely finished. I did not have the cover, no, I even had the cover art down, so I was pretty much entirely done with this album. All I needed to do was just put it together and I even released stress in first as this teaser for the album and take me yeah I released take me take me and stress and were released as like teasers for the album but I ended up scrapping it and then I put out fall down feeling um fall down feeling and fly with me from the album and I reused fighting back for another project reused fighting back for another project so the only so let's see out of all of these i'm pretty sure one two three four five out of all these finished ones i should say um fall down was released in some capacity stressin was released in some capacity take down was take me sorry take me was released in some capacity feeling was released heartbroken was released in some capacity this one was never finished i'm pretty sure i have an early like a version of it on like version of it somewhere 
I'm pretty sure I have a version of Sorrows somewhere, but I don't know where exactly, but I'm pretty sure I do have a version of this with everything except for this feature. But um, this one was close, pretty close to done, but never ended up getting finished. But anyways, fall down, stressing, take me, feeling heartbroken, talk back, I think was maybe, I think I still have talk back, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it was, so I'm not going to count it. Don't know I planned her release, because I still um, enjoy that one. Find you, I have, but haven't released. Don't want beef, I have. Fighting back was released in some capacity, and fly with me was released in some capacity. So I think that's seven. That's seven of the 13 that were, well, seven of the 12 that were put out, I think. Because fall down, stress, and take me. Fall down, stress, and take me. Feeling heartbroken. And then fighting back and fly with me. So yeah, seven. And one, two, three, four, five. So the other five have either been, ha either have been, never, have never seen a release, have a planned release, or just might never see see the time of day again. But yeah, this entire thing was supposed to be this big release, and it was supposed to be my next album, and I was really happy with how it was turning out. And then I just slowly started having less and less faith in it until I just didn't release it and ended up like not releasing it altogether because I was just unhappy with how it was turning out and yeah it was yeah and I'm pretty sure you can see this but I last I did it on Jul in July but yeah that was this entire thing and I'm really upset that I never well I'm not super upset but I'm decently upset that I never ever got that project done. Anyways, back to the reaction, because I don't remember this track at all. Well, I kind of do, but not enough. Just wanna go through the night with you So I won't feel blue not sure what I'll do When I lose Won't get the news I'll refuse I'll drink some booze Just drink to forget Before we even met Be like that to fret And I just wanna let All my bad thoughts creep in I don't wanna be sleeping My lungs creep and it's too late to say, don't know what to say Maybe you should have changed at an earlier time Cause it's just one line that's keeping me here We won't go out, you won't know how You just go now, won't get gone down We won't go out, you won't know how You just go now, won't get gone down Are you gonna fly with me? Won't you just try for me? Don't even try for me, cause you won't die with me. Are you gon' fly with me? Won't you just try for me? Don't even try for me, cause you won't die with me. Okay, so I guess if there's one fact about this track that I can say. Um, it's the track that inspired me to experiment more, I guess, with sound and style again, because the first time I experimented was all the way back in like 2021-ish with, I don't remember what the track is called, but
but it was my very first melodic track, and it sucks. Don't go listen to it. Don't go listening to it. It's terrible. But I got inspired to, to experiment a little bit with that, and then this song, like, a while later, um, encouraged me to, with how much fun I was having with just making it with it, making it, and how happy I was with how it came out, it just inspired me to experiment more and since then i've never really wanted to do the same well i've done a lot of similar style styled songs i guess but i've never wanted to do the exact same thing just shoved out again so yeah that right there that's how you could tell i did not um edit this song before i released it because that a i hope you enjoyed this thing was supposed to play it for like like it was, since this was the last track of the album it was supposed to be this like hey i hope you enjoyed this entire album i was like you know i hope you enjoyed this album and i just you know was saying that and well yeah um i'm gonna pause this for a second i cleared my notifications that is all i did but yeah that's what that a i hope you enjoyed this thing thing was and um another criticism i have for this is that the mixing is terrible i do not like it fall down this one as you can clearly tell by this text was a song that was had a verse written by my friend star one animation or as he's credited in the description storm and this was he wrote it and i he wrote that verse that's verse two and he committed suicide before i could ever not only say goodbye but um before he could ever record anything more and so yeah we had a bunch of ideas together i could share that in an entire other video which i'm pretty sure i'm gonna do but that's pretty much what this was it was me making a track that was had a tribute to him putting it out as a tribute to my best friend I'm going fall down I don't know where to go now I feel so alone wow. Tell me I'm supposed to know how Cause I can't fake it, my heart's breaking And I don't know if I can make it So please just take this away from me I don't know what to do cause I can't go Okay, so I've decided that I'm not going to react to the, that one, but I am going to react to this one. Okay, so there's a fun fact about this song. This song 
was supposed to have an entirely different feature, but that feature didn't end up happening because the feature was like, hey, I don't want to be on this, and I'm like, that's respectable. And so I got Hayden Ray, at the time, Kai Ridden, which I'm probably going to change that. Let's change that. Change the name in the title and description. But Hayden Ray, at the time, was like, okay. Uh, I asked him, and he was like, all right, I'll be on it. And yeah, that's fun fact. Feeling it, tell me what you see it with. I wanna know how you're leading shit, cause I don't want me in it. No, I'ma get rid of my thoughts so I won't pop. And I know it's a lot, but you should move on to Cause I'm not gonna think of you. You still attached, I know that's true. But sometimes you ought to get the clue Cause my reasons for loving you There's very few And I already know what you're gonna do So forget about me Cause you're the one thing I don't wanna see So it's best if you leave Cause we got a lot of beef And I know I should say that's enough But somehow I'm still in love All this shit stuff on this patch I'm going through is rough Baby, I don't know, I'm not feeling it Tell me what you see it with I wanna know how you lead this shit Cause I don't want me in it no. I'm Cupid, but I don't need no heart eater. Narcissist to empath, nothing but trouble when I see her. If she go viral, I know she must have went and cheated. There's one more I know, it is a strep throat season. Love so large, she couldn't manage to comprehend. I tried to apprehend, but then it felt like I'm edging at the edge of the ship. Can't tell if it's less than sin. My mind's been told, you took my spirit just like the summer days. And everywhere I don't regret what me made, cause the girl was there. But it disappears when I feel scared, like I was chosen as a dare. All the pink feels gone when she is on my head. But it's hard when I see what used to stir the air. I'm not sure how to move on. Okay, so that's another part that I can... This is another part that I can actually confidently say. So this was in the original version before I even got Hayden to be on the song. This was in the track originally before it even was, well, you know, in that. So I, you know, so before I, sorry, I'm blanking, but before I even got Hayden Ray and on the track, I had this plan and idea of having the two artists have a the two artists have kind of a back and forth with each other because that was a concept I had never really heard of before you know I've never really heard of artists having having a back and forth on a song at least not very commonly so I you know put that there and that's kind of where that comes from it's your problem, save yourself from the stop and what's lost You saying she should be Take gone. a step back, watch for the venom She's a fan, I'm a not You need to do the same, dude I've been trying to a sacrifice Hanging on the news Dick a good one from the dick to move I know it's like you're stuck in chains, too I'm in pain, too, I'm disciplined And not lose the game so soon Baby, I don't know, I'm not feeling it Tell me what you see it with I don't wanna know how you're leading shit Cause I don't want me in it That is yet another song. Let me see if there's any more of my songs that I need to share a fun fact about. Well, I need a Tylenol. I used a bass for this song. So if you don't know, this, Becca is sleeping. Becca is sleeping. This is not a person I actually asked to feature. They had this entire hook thing already recorded like already up on youtube and was like free for use so i'm like okay let me use this and i used it and well, this was also the first song where i did double layering layered vocals and also i guess sang along with someone else on the hook and this was not supposed that sounds not very revolutionary but when you were as primitive as an artist as i was back then that was pretty revolutionary. Um, Reminiscent Remix is a just reminiscent 
but remixed. And the reason why I actually do like the Reminiscent remix over... Why I like Reminiscent remix over... I'm not sure which version I prefer, but I made the remix because I was originally dissatisfied with the original feature now i'm just not sure about which version i like supernova that one has a whole story behind it it's the other one on there no it's not but the back to basic cp is so i guess to save time from this being well like hours long i'm gonna skip like a track or two I might react to the rest at some other point, but for now, we're gonna skip to VHS Study Ixi. The passage, the average can't have this Nowadays the simple berries the plain But I don't give a fuck, I'll still marry the game Like I grew up in Tina's ass, hungry like Peter Staff About to be clean up that, fuck the I need to act So I'll live O3 till infinity Sipping Hennessy like Pac on his enemies So conserve me, absurdly try to observe me Hurt me, so I left his family burning He doesn't realize his words, so I observe his glory I'm just dead to them, that's why I'm stuck in purgatory Keep up that hatred, I'll strip you ass naked If you don't eat that food, there's a good chance I'ma take it <coughs> Rape it, physically or verbally Is it certainty, the industry's blood probably I got that kinda like it's kamikaze Woo! Give me an order, swap, that's a Gandhi Yeah, they take his time so slow like Yandy But I'll drop it high like a Bugatti Popping off like paparazzi She begin the knees and she ran to the sink Bots a drip on my wrist, Bluetooth and by gravity now you're a cavity, but we in sync Jewelry heavy like a zinc cap No ice, no wink, no bitch, no kink No pen and no ink, Wait. Let me balance you a bow, no cadets Building the scrog and feel like I'm Aztec When they see us the invasion, no exit signs Back hurts, bloody, gotta exercise Try to a tie when you've been built off of fries But then you can't exercise the god Let me write civil and so bad like I got a motto Scream, rap, cry, my hits and vibrato Got my record tied like it's got all gazpacho Great, cause this that ape shit DHS always take the late shift like whoa like a symbiotic suit, the groom pain addicted to Make a sitter just a boost, but you'll reconsider when I'm loose I can't afford to floor the pedal, body might as well be metal An appetite like Hansel Brown, no riddle, rental, I'm mental I'm path like it's my odyssey, no pain or wound is harming me Mankind satisfies gluttony, terroristic thoughts and harmony Parasite that needs no host because I'm no good digger ho Demented like a necromorph or twisted like a Twitter post Lick your blood, can't off your bones of all considered threat or foe VHS is number one, y'all irrelevant, can't touch our thrones It's one to zero, bro Zero to your hero, bro. Murphy's lie when you jinx me, don't say like Momo. Perfect Zelda on your post. Okay, so I'm not sure if I should share this, but there was originally supposed to be an entirely different person here who had recorded a verse, but didn't. Re well, recorded a demo verse, but I guess they. Everyone on this track had just ultimately ended up deciding. I'm pretty sure that person was like, I don't want to be on it, or. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And plus, so we uh, just ended up deciding, hey, whatever. We'll just record a, we'll just record a new version. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what the story behind that one is. Los promo Los Santos with the turbo catcher like you pronto. The kids know not to touch the fucking VHS tapes. He came for Brock on and they will act at the DMX tape. Stand against all odds, but the future's ours to make. Yeah, our directions point to one. We go drop out like Zane. Ah, uh, getting days, feeling days along with our minds around this age. But we got money to stress, cause we're VHS. We're VHS. Yeah, we VHS. VHS. Sitting and taking a scene, huh? Sitting and making my dream, huh? Little motherfucker ain't nothing. You running them coming from nothing and making it abundant that I'm on top, no stop, you just gon' drop, you won't pop off, so slurp from that trough, cause VHS, we the best, won't be addressed like a pest, bro, so just let go, didn't you fall before we met, though, yeah, that's what I bet, ho, so stay in your place, cause this is our space, and we don't need a trace of you. Somebody
Okay, so fun fact I have about that is hey, my verse. Well, fun fact I have about my verse there is that hey, I just I don't I don't think I have one other than the fact that well, it was I think the well, excluding the part that was added in after the other person, I'm pretty sure it was the last part to go in. The second to last part that was done. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, anything else I can comment on? I'll react to the other VHS tracks later at some point. So, back to basics. This track, this EP was, came up with the, I uh, on the idea that I would have, um, this EP was made on the idea of, hey, do I have anybody that, like, little, little, sorry, so, this EP was made on the, I, based off of the idea that I, um, would revisit, like, um, old styles, that's what this was, Ignorance, I'm pretty sure, was me. Bitches who said I couldn't make it this your health, so go ahead and take it, pop it and drop it. I got an option, no pollen, I'm ballin and rocking, no block and I like it. Okay, so the fun fact about that song is that it was literally me just trying out a different style. And this one is the third in the trilogy, actually, because there's a trilogy of songs, two of which are on the different deluxe. Two are on Difference Deluxe, and this is the third one where I revisited the style, but there was Nuts, Ball, like, I don't know, like, fucking Nuts, yeah, it was Nuts, Traps, and then Nutsack, which was this. Back, uh, his nutsack, uh, he and I'm pretty sure I even went back to, yeah, I even went back to the original producer who made those songs. I even went to the... Back to the producer's channel that I went to to get the original instrumental for I, I, for at least I know for a fact and nuts. I'm not sure about traps, but I'm pretty sure I'm like a hundred percent sure nuts traps. I'm not sure. I even went back to his channel to find another like beat. On track, uh, to make them not like that I just added because I thought it would be funny. I don't know. From the back. I don't know, there's nothing else. This was written... Okay, so this top line was written in the style of my old old original style um when i originally so it like somewhere like between like somewhat like somewhat indifference and but with andy's words to difference ish like slightly before difference slash difference was this is mimicking that style that i used to write in where it was basically just heavy rhyming and trying to be this cool lyrical rapper, I guess. This really, really cool lyrical rapper who could rhyme a lot of stuff. And also have bars that had a bunch of meanings, and I just stopped writing like that. This is not the type of beat that I used, but it was a nice beat. I live like the top line. 
I quit while I pop wine So go for the flow, whoa bro I don't know if I can win like bro Yo, I'll try but won't lie It's not pen in my shit for it to get hit I miss quit, my kit ain't lit So bit by bit, I fit for the pit So fly, I need an oven mitt So this twit won't hit shit A misclick and I'll miss quick So this chick won't hit pick Like I'm gon' miss the fist that this bitch hits So don't kiss the piss I stack till I back that's pretty much the only fun fact. This was made, I'm pretty sure, before. Um, before the... I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say here. Yes, now I do. So this was made slightly before... I think maybe slightly during or slightly before. No, I'm pretty sure this one... No, slightly before I came up with the idea for Back to Basics. But I thought it revisited the style of my... Revisited his style pretty well, so I used it. I need recovery. You need to recover. See, you won't have enough of me. You yeah, and then there's sunrise, which. This one was made to replicate my, was made, more, obviously more recent, was made to replicate my, what was at the time my most current style. So basically it was like me just showing off, you know, styles that I had done in the past. Like, um, this one was based, I'm pretty sure it was also based off the style that I did of some song, the other songs that I did for Difference. This one is, you know, sequel to a later trilogy, to, at the time, duology, now trilogy. Um, this one replicating an old style. This one replicating what it was like when I first started out, melodic, and this one to replicate, well, what was at the time my most current style. Speaking of most current style at the time, The reason it's called Take Me Freestyle Freestyle is because this is all off the top. And at the time, that was a big thing for me. But now, pretty much every single one of my songs, I say pretty much because this doesn't apply to every single song. But a fair amount of my songs are now completely off the top where I come up with a lyric and use that rather than writing a bunch of stuff down i pretty much go completely off the top now which is great because i don't need to worry about losing the flow because something i used to do a lot um was lose the flow that i had originally came up with for well the lyrics so i ended up using a completely different one and this was the first track where i just said fuck it when i come up with the lyrics i'm gonna use them and you know just split spit them out and so yeah that's what that was and yeah i ended up not losing the flow which i was pretty happy with because i you know didn't lose the flow that i came up with for the lyrics originally I'm pretty sure that's the only one I have. So this one was labeled official audio, but fun fact about this track is that it was actually a diss track. Um, and there's the, um, there's the sequel, I'm pretty sure it was a sequel. There was, yeah, the sequel Black Hole, which I can pull up by doing, which I can pull up, but there was a sequel to this called Black Hole, where, yeah, it was Black 
you know, it was a sequel to this this and yeah, I'll I'll explain that it was on this person called Star, hence the name Supernova, and the other name and the other one was also on Star, hence the name Black Hole. Um, but they were someone that was very shitty to me, so yeah. So the context behind that racist bar is that so basically on multiple occasions at this point um I'm pretty sure I say this a version of this later down the line um another version of this later down the line in this track but basically the entire thing behind this bar was that at the time of this and I guess even now they had had multiple occasions of just being blatantly racist, like saying the N word to, like saying the N word, and also, um, let's see, so saying the N word, um, and also saying racist Asian word to an Asian, um, just multiple occasions of being racist. So that is a reference to the fact that on the second occasion of them, which happens to be the one with the Asian being racist towards Asians, they had completely dodged the situation and not addressed it. And, well, yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I say this later on or in the other track, but um, basically that's a reference to how, at the time anyways, uh, how, I don't know if it's still true, but at the time they were dating someone who was five years older than them and they were like 16 and the dude was like 21 and it was clearly very very not good and so i was like hey your your relationship kind of weird to them when i was first in contact with them because we were cool with each other at some point that obviously changed but at that time you know and then well it became that so so there's that full story i guess i did eventually explain that one so that one is a reference to how she is in fact not mentally disabled and is not allowed to say retarded like i am so yeah Yeah. 
that one's pretty self-explanatory, basically saying how my friends are my friends who will who are ride or dies and they won't make some petty drama over lies like how star did um one moment okay i'm back this is a long ass recording okay so i'm gonna skip right to this one and the fun fact the fun fact about this one is that it was when i heard about um i think obsession it is let me see i'm pretty sure it was obsession yeah it was obsession when i heard about obsession being in production i was like hey could i hop on that because you know i had some stuff to say on my a say of my own but he was like nah and so i was like all right that's respectable but you know so i ended up making my own version Are you gonna make me take you out? Cause you and Connor don't talk I'm my dead best friend now Yeah, I know you're both looking for that cloud But Connor, you can't even come from me how Ayo hey, Don, you got your own thing coming So just start running oh. Um, yeah, these are people These are all people that I know, IRL And, well, yeah, I had made this diss As a thing of saying, hey, back the fuck up Say Michaela, cause you, you don't actually care about dead names. They were just a thing to have fun with. Hey, your Mercedes Benz, your dumbass pushed away all your friends. And just like Don, you got no defense. Hey, yeah, 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 hey. I think I'm cursed, cause I've got that dirt. It's that absurd, cause you the worst, yeah. You can make it. I think, in retrospective, the worst, the weirdest thing for a diss track to have is a hook. As weird as that sounds, it's a really, well, yeah, it's a really weird thing for a diss track to have because usually they don't have those. And the only ones that do have one are, like, bad ones. You're just vacant, brain so vacant, you're just chasing a bad dream so you can be seen hey your motherfuckers that bullied me for being gay in eighth grade you go make a different name for yourself by bullying someone else or go fade oh by the way drayden why did you lie about me raping you especially when the truth is it's the other way dude took my friends and made me depressed for attention and i should also mention that you a rap bro can't face it action so you act you'll take that and none of y'all could ever imagine looking at your best friend in the casket emotions don't process and it's a lot of baggage yeah i think i'm cursed cause i've got that dirt it's that absurd cause you the worst yeah you can make it you're just blaking brain so vacant you're just chasing a bad dream so you can be seen. Okay, so yeah. And I'm gonna find more tracks. Okay, I'm gonna... Just... This one was one that I made... Two years ago, and I'm still pretty happy with. So I'm gonna show it to y'all. Can't 
stuck in bed Fever to my head and I've got a cold I've got a cold ooh, ooh. You're my only remedy you see Every time you leave me I feel incomplete You're the cure for the cold that I breathe But now that you're not here A Tylenol is what I need While I'm stuck on the other side of the street Come back next to me please That way you can always stay by me And that way the world's clear enough to see You know you're old You know you're old on my mind I think about That's you all the time You know you're always on my mind I think about you all the time Cause you're the only medicine that I need, need. Can't you see You're the only medicine that I need My remedy My medicine that I've never been Without. Now that you're not here, it feels like I injected in the venom And now everything is going in dark And you're ripping it all apart Flipping this, taking it, can't resist But the point of this is to whisk away All the pain that was gave to my brain I promise there's a way that I can change So you can take away everything that my rage left so yeah that's that's just a song i wanted to show and i don't know if you guys uh noticed but my i was very very heavily influenced by eminem at the time so okay so i guess i realized just how long this video is getting so uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye